Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. In this video, we'll be continuing the photo scan tutorial. We'll be UV unwrapping this low polygon rock, and then we'll bake the texture from our high polygon photo scan model onto this one. So let's get started. All right, first we want to go into edit mode. Just add select tool there, hold alt and right click. And we're going to mark a seam that's run straight down the middle of the model, straight down the side of the model. So for this model, these seams are perfect. We don't need to work on anything else. We're just going to do something that runs straight through the center of the model. So I'm just going to quickly split off this area. I'm going to go into the UV image editor. I'm going to select all of this model and just click unwrap. There you see, we have our model nicely unwrapped. So I'm just going to select both islands and scale them up a bit so that they're equal in scale. And then I'm going to try and position them so that both of them fit in on my texture. Okay, not quite, so let's scale them down a bit. There we go. I'm just going to click here to minimize stretch, just so that they're a bit more even spaced and you can just click. And that's our UV wrapping done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to create a new texture for it. I'm going to call this diffuse. to set the alpha to nothing so that it's completely clear and there we go now what we're going to do now is we're just going to bake the texture onto this one so let's just make sure that the diffuse here is selected yes it is and then we're going to go to our second layer where our high polygon mesh is if you're not seeing the texture you can just switch over to material mode we don't have a light in here so I'll just add one in so you can see there is our high polygon texture so we're just going to right click and move that one over here to the first layer you see it's still selected hold shift and right click to select your low polygon model I'm going to go into the bake or the render tab sorry here to the bake tab at the bottom I'm going to change from full render to textures Selected to active, and I'm just going to change the margins down and click bake. Okay, there we go. So let's just move this high polygon one to the second layer again. We're going to just create the material for this one new, and then we'll just use the diffuse that we baked. And there we go. As you can see, that is our texture that we just created from a bake from our high polygons. If you switch between the two, see there are some differences, but overall we did capture quite a lot of detail from the texture itself. The only problem that we're going to have is here at the bottom, because at this model here, there is actually no bottom. In the photo scan, we're just going to have to fix this up to make it look a little bit better. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to save this texture out. Oop, just save it as diffuse. And just save my work here. And then we're going to just quickly try and fix this up. So first thing I want to do is I'm just going to go over to my rocks texture tab over here. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click the emit under shading. I'm going to select my hemi light, which I still have. If you see it here in the world, you can just right click it and click delete. And then you'll see that the model is still showing the texture, but it's emitting the texture itself that way you don't get any of that glare that you have from the the light source that we had okay so how we're going to fix these is just by jumping over to 
select your model, jump over to texture paint, and then we're going to select the clone brush. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to increase the intensity and then hold control and left click. And then we're going to start painting over the areas as so. The reason why I'm painting over these areas as well, because that's actually grass that's shining through there, which I don't want. So we're just going to do this. Just try and change up your areas a little bit so it kind of matches up with the colors of the rock on the different locations. So now we kind of got it over the corners here. Okay, that's not a very good spot. That's a little bit better. Okay, so all that you really need to do is just continue this whole texture painting process until you have the desired look that you want for your model. So for the complete bottom, I think I'm just going to use that as the basis. Remember also texture painting is dependent on what angle you're looking at the model from as well. So if you're looking at it from like this angle, it will just like use that part over there. So we kind of want that detail there. Okay, just like that one and put that over there. That one. Okay, that's a bit too much of the corner. So select this one here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. If I if you play too much with it, you might end up just breaking your model and just making it look a little bit worse, which I'm afraid I might be doing at the current moment. But this is just so you can get the idea of what you can accomplish with the texture paint, just to fix up your own model. Okay, I just want to do that. That side. I think I want to try and put this entire side there. I don't think that's necessary. I'm just going to do something like this. Just try and blend this in. Okay, now that I've got the look that I wanted, everything looks okay there, then I'm just going to take a lower opacity and I'm just going to start filling in the colors a little bit. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. It's not the, the best for you at the bottom, but I do believe that it's okay. We don't have to worry too much about the model. So I think that's our texture pretty much done. So I'm just going to save it out again. And then next let's try and, well, let's not try, let's just do a normal map. So there are two normal maps that we can make. We can make one from the high polygon mesh, but as we have quite a lot of detail on the texture itself, I don't particularly want to do that. And there is one other reason, which is that 
this piece here at the bottom again is going to cause a bit of problems which we would have to fix up in the normal map as well so I'm just going to jump over here and I'm just going to go up here just click new we're going to use our diffuse change its influence to normal we're going to set it to best quality and change this to texture space then what we're going to go do is we're going to jump over to our render tab just going to create a new texture I created one here called normal going to select our model change into edit mode change that to normal go down to the bake tab Make sure that normals are selected, tangent space, selected to active, and just click bake. And there we go, we got a normal map baked out of our texture here, so we're just going to save that. Go. So essentially that's all our work in Blender done. What we'll be covering in the next video is we're going to be using GIMP to touch up on the texture a little bit more. We're going to bake a couple of other maps for it and then we're going to import this model into Unreal Engine 4. So if you guys like this video leave a like. If you disliked it you can dislike it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see it continue growing so, and so that I can also help you create your game models. So I thank you all very much for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Thank you again. Bye-bye.